All right, guys. So if you want to download my SQL prompt to the website, my SQL file, um, you go to my SQL. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Then you come to downloads and you scroll to my SQL community. And uh, from there, you click on uh, my SQL community server. And uh, you click on my SQL installer for Windows. And right here, download, click to download the software. If you ask you to log in, you don't need to log in for these products. Just click on no thanks, just start my download. Immediately, my SQL will be downloaded to your system. Click on the downloaded file and all right. Okay, thank you. Uh, now you can see the, the software is installing. So let's walk through this uh, installation process together. You leave it at default at the developer default. Click on next. Uh, here is asking checking if there are requirements for Python. You don't need to do anything there, just click on next. It asks uh, one or more product requirements have not been satisfied. This product with missing requirements will not be installed or uploaded. Do you want to continue? And yes, we want to continue. I want to execute. So it's going to take a while to download all of these uh, parts. So it's going to download my SQL server, my SQL workbench, my SQL shell, router, and all of these packages will be downloaded for my SQL to work uh, perfectly. So let's give it some time to go through the download, the downloads before we continue. So once all the packages are downloaded, uh, then you click on next. All right, uh, execute. And you give it uh, it's some time also to install all of these other packages before we move on. So I'm going to pause this video and come back to it once these packages are installed. All right, welcome back. So it appears that all my packages for this connector Python has failed to install. However, let's continue the installation process. We go to the next uh, button. We click on next button. It brings us to the product configuration. Next brings you to the type and networking settings. We don't change anything here. I just leave it just the way it is then you click on next and brings us to authentic uh, the authentication method leave it just like that let the recommended settings be selected and next so here it asks uh, to ask of uh, my sql root password so just type a password there type a root password any password of your choice and uh, you type your password and then you click on next and uh, brings it to the windows service you we don't change any settings just click on next and yes grant to access the user next and you click on execute and it checks all of these uh, different configuration settings or steps once all of these steps are checked uh, you click finish brings us here again product configuration next and you have the mysql router configuration you just don't check anything click on finish it brings you on the product configuration again you click next and right now it's asking for the password that you have already created so type in the password then Click on check to confirm the password. If this connection was successful, then you can click on the next button again and click on execute. 
and once this uh, script is done running uh, we can now end our installation process uh, finish and next again and click on finish so once you do this you have the command prompt pop up and it's going to display uh, my sql workbench so this is the workbench uh, which we use for uh, to run our queries so once you get here brings my connection uh, my sql connections click on this plus sign and the uh, uh, connection uh, you have here uh, connection name i type the name for the connection so let's just type um uh, let us type our uh, first connection just give it any name of your choice then you click on uh, okay uh, okay so we have a first connection you can call it anything click on this uh, page and enter that click on that uh, first connection icon then enter the same password that you created earlier and finally click on okay and once you do that the sql workbench is ready for uh, typing your queries so there are three pans here navigator a panel you have the query panel and you have the sql additions that we have uh, seen okay so you can actually expand this this is the interface to sql query one here of course this query is not saved so it's titled query one this is where we type in all our query and results will be displayed right here below on the output panel so uh, in our next class, we'll begin writing our query. Congratulations, if you've gotten to this point, it means you've successfully downloaded and installed my SQL uh, workbench, uh, my SQL uh, RDBMS. Congratulations, see you in the next class. Goodbye.